Hello, um, I'm going to very quickly give you an introduction to um, how to read files and extract information from file, parse the file, which means looking for patterns in the file, and somehow get some statistics about um, what is found. So assume that I have a very simple problem to solve. I have a text file, and here is an example of, of a file that contains text, only text and it's organized in lines, and I have either yes or no written on each line, and I'd like to count how many times I find yes and how many times I find no. And so um, what I've done is that I've used uh, TextEdit on a Mac to create this file. Um, you could use Notepad on Windows, and I've saved it to my desktop. And I have uh, started writing a program called DemoFileRead.py, which is also on a desktop, and they both sit here I have yes no text and demo files read py and um, so here I've, I've started I have a skeleton program where I'm reading the file and then I'm displaying each line of the file here so if I run this you'll see that it's actually opening the file and reading the file and displaying each line so I'm using read lines because um, I want to be able to process each line separately and you'll see um, I'm going to make that pro problem a little bit more complex as we go along. So I'm, I'm interested in having the list of lines which, what, which is what read lines will do for me. And then as I'm printing the lines here, when I print this, I'm printing the whole line but the whole line is actually yes with a backslash n at the end. So the fact that there's a backslash n at the end makes me go to the next line and the print itself will make me go to the next line after that. So the extra blank line is the fact that when Python reads each line it also reads the backslash n that ends each one of these lines here. So what I really need to do is I need to strip the line as soon as I get it. So to get rid of the uh, extra backslash n at the end and if I do that then I get the correct output that I'm expecting. All right, let's assume that I'm interested in counting the yeses and the noes. So a typical way of doing this is before you start, you say, you create two counters. So count yes equals zero, count no equals zero. So two counters for the two patterns. And here, instead of printing the line, I'm going to test if... So there's several ways of doing it. And I could, I could write if line is equal to yes, for example, then count yes equals count yes plus one. Add one if I find a yes. I'm going to try to do something different. I'm going to use the find method. For example, if a is equal to uh, hello there, if I say a find there, it's going to give me some number, which is the position of the first character, which is t in this case, of my pattern. It says 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there appears at position 6. If I say a find um, hello uppercase, which is not in my uh, line a, my string a, then I get minus 1. So find is very good at, at looking everywhere and telling me if, if what I'm looking for is there or not. So I'm going to prefer that. I'm going to say if line find yes is not equal to minus 1, that means that yes appears somewhere and therefore I'm going to increment uh, my counter and I'm going to do the same thing for no. If line find no is not equal to minus 1, then count no equals count no plus 1. Okay, and then I'm going to display the two counters. Print yes, count yes, oops, and uh, print no All right, so let's see if we recognize the right number. It says there are three yeses and one noes. All right, so that's good. Uh, I'm going to go back here and I'm going to change some of these things to maybe no and yes, 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 no. Well, maybe not that. But I'm going to try to play a little bit with uh, case um, and spacing. So save that and let's see what my program does. Well, it says it doesn't see the no. It says there's three yeses, so my find is good, um, but it doesn't find a no because it's lowercase. So 
I need to strip the line and maybe I should make it uppercase as well. So line strip will remove extra spaces at the front and the back and that upper will also make it uppercase. So now line is uppercase. Okay, and I have three and one, which is the, the right count. Uh, what about um, blank lines? What if I have some extra blank lines in here? So I'm gonna add a lot of blank lines and see if my program still runs. So let me save this. It is saved on the program. Okay, 3-1. So it's still very good at skipping um, blank lines. And the reason is that the blank line, if I try to find a yes, so if I try to find a no, uh, it's not gonna say, um, it's gonna return minus one. And in both cases, I will not increment my counter. So it will automatically skip. Um, these patterns that are of no interest for me. So um, very simple way of checking that um, what I'm looking for is um, is there. Um, and the, the find is, is, is quite quite nice for um, for that. Um, what if I'm interested in just no but I also have the word not. Um, so that's um, gonna be a little tricky. Let's think about that. Um, if I oops if I run this program, it's gonna, it has found a no, but no is not not. I would like to make sure that um, what I found is exactly no and nothing else. I don't want to find NO embedded into anything else. Let's assume that that's what I'm interested in. So in that case, um, I need to do something extra. Looking for no is not sufficient. I want to make sure that what I find is no, but it no extra characters. So. So what we can do is we can add an extra restriction. So when, if I'm looking for yes, I want to make sure it's there. And I'd like to make sure that the length of my line is equal to three in this case, because I have three characters. So if, if I find yes and the length of the line is three, then I know it's not gonna be that yes is. And if, the, if I find a no and the length of my line, oops, is equal to two, then I can increment my counter. So in this case, it says you have one yes um, and zero no's. And the reason that it didn't give me, it didn't count this is because I have two on the line. So, um, um, and to, to be sure, um, what I could also do is that I could erase everything here, save it. So, I, so my, now my file is empty. If my program is written correctly, it should output zero, zero without crashing which is the case, zero, zero. So I have a pretty robust program here that will only look at yeses or noes by themselves on single lines.